Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. Today I am sharing with you a brand new foundation from Chanel. This one is called the Perfection Lumiere Velvet. They describe it as a smooth effect makeup that provides you with SPF 15. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts as well as show it going on and I hope that you enjoy this review. By way of a bit of a background, I adore Chanel foundations. One of my holy grail foundations is the Vita Lumiere Aqua. This one is actually traditionally designed for more normal to dry skins, they say. It's a water-based foundation that provides light to medium coverage, they say. I say it's buildable to more than that. I find it very long-lasting with a beautiful natural finish, great with a primer underneath, powder over the top. My skin looks smoothed out, beautiful, flawless, natural, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous foundation there. I love it. I do also quite like their Matte Lumiere. This one is SPF 15 as well. Their Perfection Lumiere, which is SPF 10 and is long wear flawless fluid makeup. Basically, they say that they all have light reflecting technology in them that just helps to blur and reflect the light and make you look more youthful and hide your fine lines and wrinkles. The drier skinned people who I've heard reviews from love, 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 love the Perfection Lumiere. Yeah. It's not a holy grail for me. I think it does have a tendency to cake. I don't think it's particularly flattering and it's just okay for me. So I was really intrigued to find out a little bit more about the Perfection Lumiere Velvet because it does share the Perfection Lumiere brand tag. What I couldn't wait to try this foundation for is because like the Vita Lumiere Aqua, it's very lightweight. When you squeeze it out on your hand, it's kind of, you know, quite sort of runny, quite lightweight. They say that this one is more for your sort of normal to dry skins. It does provide a bit of a luminous finish, but I find for my combination oily skin, it's absolutely beautiful. I find that it's not oily, greasy looking. Uh, I have heard from some oily skin people that they don't like this foundation. For me and my combination to oily skin, it's holy grail. Having said that, the Perfection Lumiere is the one that is designed more for combination oily skins. So apparently it's going to give more of a matte finish compared to the Vita Lumiere Aqua and it's also meant to provide a little bit more coverage. So while I disagree that this is a light to medium coverage foundation, there are people who say that this does not give enough coverage for them. So this is a solution for those of you, I think with the combination oily skin after a little bit more coverage and a long lasting matte finish according to what Chanel says. I'm going to cut now to the foundation going on and you can see that the shade that I've been matched to, the 30 Beige tends to be a reasonable match for me. I'm pretty pleased with that. I have applied a little bit of the Benefit, the Professional, just on my cheek area, and I'm applying this straight over a moderately moisturizing day moisturizer. The one I'm using is from Strivectin right now, and it's not mattifying. I'm just letting the product do the talking today, so you can get a real feel for how it looks going on, and then how it lasts throughout the day in the absence of primer and powder. As it's going on, you can see that it blends in very, very easily. I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, you're not going to have to work hard to get rid of streaks or to blend it in. And after I apply one layer of the product, I'm going back in with the buffing brush just to sort of stipple on a bit of extra coverage over some healing blemishes or some hyperpigmentation that I have on my face. At this point, I would say that the skin neither looks extremely matte, it it definitely doesn't look extremely dewy. It's got a dewier natural finish though overall at this point. I would say that the coverage is somewhere between medium to full. It's more than medium. It's not quite full. The product blended in really easily and I would say it's certainly not looking cakey at this point. My pores probably look natural. I would say they haven't sort of been eliminated. They haven't been exacerbated. I don't see any glitter or cakiness on my face and overall it's just sort of a nice luminous natural finish for now, giving a significant amount of coverage. I am back and I've applied my makeup, but I have not powdered or put any other product besides some spot concealing on my face. We're probably looking at about an hour after initial application. It certainly doesn't look oily or greasy, but it definitely has a dewy glow at this point. And we'll see how we go across the T-zone and the cheeks for the day. I'll be back to let you know how it's looking. I just wanted to pop in at the four hour mark now to let you know that the foundation is still looking pretty kind of dewy I would say. You can see around my chin, around my nose, 
that we still have some dewiness. I've got on some shimmery highlighter, so ignore the cheeks, but you know, around the nose, around the T-zone, you can see a bit of shine. So without having used any primer or oil control product underneath the foundation or setting with any kind of powder, which would also help with oil control, this definitely still has a dewy sort of luminous finish to it. I don't look like an oil slick. I definitely don't look greasy. It's just a natural hydrated glow with this product. So I wouldn't say it's matte. At this point at four hours, it makes me wonder whether my oil will have won through at the eight hour mark. So stay tuned and I will show you how it's looking at the end of the day. So we're now looking at about 10 hours after application and I have not powdered over this foundation. I have touched up my blush highlighter and concealer but otherwise all around here down my nose and forehead is just foundation and it's really stayed very very constant throughout the day while the finish has not been as matte as one would expect it certainly has been long lasting i haven't had oils breaking through and breaking down the actual makeup throughout the day without a primer or powder over the top that glow has stayed there right through the middle of the day and right through here to the evening i'm not looking particularly oil it's just a really sort of glowy luminosity that has stayed there all day long so really really interesting it's definitely still there I'm still getting all the coverage that I need from the product it's just stayed looking really beautiful and hydrated all day long this foundation based on this experience has just been two thumbs up I certainly don't always need a matte look anymore. I'm in my mid thirties and uh, I'm looking for that sort of hydration and glowy look. Every other time that I have worn this foundation since I bought it, it has involved a primer underneath and then a light powder over the top. And it certainly can look a lot more matte when you do use a primer underneath and a powder over the top. So this has been a really interesting experiment. Two big thumbs up from me for the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. I will just go a little bit more into the actual product. You are getting your standard 30 mils of foundation in this very lightweight plastic tubing. I love this packaging. It's so travel friendly. It's not heavy glass luxury. I just love it though. You've got a really handy little pour spout. Very easily you can control the amount of product that you pop uh, onto your face or onto your hand before you apply it. The scent is very typical of Chanel. You've got that very sort of floral makeup y scent. I adore that. I am a fragrance girl, but if you don't like scents, you're not going to like any Chanel foundations. I will include a list of ingredients down below, but it doesn't seem to contain any oil. The finish is very natural. I really like this foundation quite a lot. I think for those of you who do want a slightly more matte, slightly more coverage than the Vita Lumiere Aqua, you're going to like the Perfection Lumiere quite a bit. I do sort of see, still see my pores in a natural way. While it doesn't make them look any worse, it's not particularly smoothing. It does certainly have a nice velvet finish to it, but I would still recommend that you use it over a primer and I would still set with a powder to get the most mattifying from this product. So basically it definitely does get a thumbs up from me. I would say that I do like this as much as my Vita Lumiere Aqua. It would be really difficult actually to choose between the two. Chanel has not let me down on this one. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried it or if you have any questions, do ask them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.